hey my loves good to have you here in this video i'm going to show you how to do pick and drop braids i uploaded a youtube shorts month back showing pick and drop braids that video wasn't detailed enough and i did get questions about how i made the braids with the coils but this video this time is more detailed and i hope you find it useful with the pick and drop braids you would usually braid the hair extension halfway and drop the remaining extension for mine, I made a braid to the extent of her natural hair length, but feel free to braid the hair to whatever extent you want to braid it to. When you braid to the extent you want, you take a few strands of the hair extension like I did just now and create a knot around the braid. You can do that twice like I did. This will help to secure the braid and prevent it from unraveling. When you have completed braiding the entire hair, the next thing to do is to coil the part of the hair extension that wasn't braided. There are several types of coils to do. You can do spring coils, you can do watermelon coils, you can do ocean waves or also called water wave. I'm going to be doing ocean wave coils for her and to do this, you want to go ahead to braid the hair extension in sections just like I am doing. And by braiding the hair in sections, I mean doing your three strand braid. Try to brush the hair extension as you braid through the hair and if there's any tangling you can use your hand to detangle as you braid the hair to the very end. This hair is not full okay but I ended up having just 5 sections of braided hair. So the next thing to do is to dip the hair in hot water. You want to ensure that the water is very hot to be able to achieve very good curls at the end of the entire braiding process. Next thing to do now is to apply hair mousse to the hair. You want to use a generous amount on the braided sections to help tighten the coils.
After applying the mules, you can then dry with hair dryer or you leave to air dry. When the hair is dry, the next thing to do is to lose the braided sections. You would usually lose the hair after drying the wet hair, but you can see that this was the next morning and it was late at night, so I just decided to leave the braids and lose it um, the next day. The lighting wasn't that great to show you how this hair looked, but the color mix that I used for this hair was color 30 and color 35. And you need to watch this video to the very end to see the hair color in natural light. So we're going to step outside just to show you guys what the hair looks like. Let me know what you guys think about this video and the process that I've shown you, okay? If you have any questions or you want to share anything, just feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below. And if you feel that this video will be useful to a friend, please feel free to share with them. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe before leaving this video. And yes, you want to stay to the end of this video to see what this hair looks like in natural lighting all right i'm gonna see you guys next okay time. show us your beautiful luscious hair just made yesterday so nice do you want to give us a 360 360 yells yes